Hey, 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 welcome to Future Events podcast provided by Positive Activism with Marcin. The purpose of this podcast is to help you find yourself by helping others and change the world in small steps. Sounds good, right? This is my first podcast, so give me credit, please. For the last few days, I've been doing research to find out what are the people watching, listening and reading. The conclusion is, we are obsessed with a perfect, rich lifestyle. Nothing new, right? Sadly, mostly we are spending too much time online, in social media, and we do nothing to change our lives. We just listen, watch that crap, that's all. Darling, life is happening around you. I'm not going to tell you how to dress, eat, speak, think. You already have too much pressure from people around you. So in this podcast, I will closely follow future events, which will happen in one, two weeks ahead to give you more time to prepare yourself and take part in those projects. To be more active and find a sense of happiness, you need to help others in order to help yourself. Why events? One, they are charity projects which build awareness in our communities. Two, people won't judge you. You will impress them for involvement in activism. Three, you will check your project management, marketing, planning, creativity skills, etc. From today, you are becoming positive activist. You will change the world. You will advocate at your schools, workplaces, communities. You are choosing the conversation topic for your friends, family members, and so on. Shall we start? Let's pay attention for second week of September. What's going on between 8th and 15th of September? Here we go. 8th of September, International Literacy Day. 10th of September, World Suicide Prevention Day. 15th of September, International Day of Democracy. Starting from 8th of September, International Literacy Day. Did you know that between 750 and 780 million people worldwide cannot read, write and do basic math? We are talking about people 15 years old plus, okay? Sadly, 65% of them are women. The worst situation is in North Africa, Middle East and South Asia. In Europe, only 3% people are illiterate. In fact, we are facing another problem related to those skills. How many of those who can read and write understand what are they reading? Surprise, surprise! In many countries, less than half of people can interpret the text they have just read. Understanding the reading message influences our decisions like what are we buying or for what political party we are voting for. Dear all, on this date, or 8th of September, please buy, borrow, donate a book. Read the book for yourself or organize a reading group for children. Read aloud. Celebrate those amazing skills. Reading helps uh, to communicate better with each other, develop imagination. Moving to another event on 10th of September, there is International Suicide Prevention Day. We are getting really serious now, guys. We do not have the exact number of how many people commit suicide and why. Between 800,000 to 1 million people suicide each year. There is an average one suicide act every 40 seconds. The number of suicidal attempts is between 10 to 12 million a year. It affects families and friends roughly over 100 million people yearly. There are many factors involved like depression, financial difficulties, drugs or and alcohol abuse, domestic violence. Many people are afraid to talk about suicidal thoughts as in many cultures this issue is seen as a taboo or weakness. In the past in Europe, the suicide was treated as a crime.
In fact, we all play a key role to prevent suicide. That's why it's so important to educate yourself and others by building awareness. Do not judge. Try to understand each of us got better and worse days. In some cases, those bad days can develop in more serious forms. There are organizations which can help anyone in distress. In UK, you can call anonymously on 116123. This line is open 24-7 or visit their website www.samaritans.org or you can visit NHS website for more info. Please do not afraid to talk. We need each of you. Please visit www.ia sp.info international association for suicide prevention where you can print interesting brochure in each of your country please do research on this subject okay the last subject in the podcast i would like to briefly talk about is the event on 15th of september international democracy day well, 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 how is with our democracy in those troubled times? The home of democracy is ancient Greece. We all know about it, yep, yep. There are many forms of democracy. We don't have a fixed definition to determine which country is democratic or not. In Europe, only two countries are not democratic, Liechtenstein and Vatican. Be honest, I don't want to be too political here. So let's keep it. But ask yourself questions. Does freedom of speech is part of democracy? Do capitalism and democracy are the same? Can we use the term of republic equality with democratic state? All, all the above events you can organize by yourself in groups or even ask the teachers for help. Print, create posters, leaflets and organize events. Build awareness in your communities. How you see, I gave you some ideas and how to get involved in any of the project. For those more active, I can tell you on uh, 9th of September, there is na International Day of Beauty. No need to talk about it, uh, as all of you are beautiful. 10th of September, Solidarity Day with those with schizophrenia very interesting subject the same day we have three day a hot subject for those interested in climate warming climate change 13th of september are you okay day depression awareness and suicide prevention day in australia i like that name on the same day friday 13th it people day Hopefully no hacking, no problems, no drama. To finish this podcast, dear all, it's good to help as it's one of the best way to change our future. I would like to ask you one favor. When are you going to prepare your projects? Please use professional sources like academic books, charities website, uh, government, uh, non-government website. All those subjects are very important. They influence people's lives. Subscribe, like, share. My Twitter is at podcast underscore PA. Facebook, I don't like Facebook, but here you go. PA Podcast London. Email positive.activism.podcast at gmail.com. Very long one. Please leave your comments, feedbacks as you are helping to shape this podcast. Sorry for any technical imperfections. Thank you for listening and see you next week. Bye.